Yo, how's everybody doing today? It's your boy, Airboy, and I'm back to do another fanboy interview. And this time, I'm going to be taking a look at the Joy Toy Warhammer 40,000 Salamander's Assault Intercessor Sergeant Krajax. So, before we take a look at him, let's take a look at his box. He is 118 scale. I don't know what he scales with. I generally don't care. Anyway. His name is Sergeant Kadrax of the Assault Intercessors of the Salamander's Legion. As you can see, he's a space marine from the Warhammer 40,000 universe. I've only been in the Warhammer for the past year now, and it has sucked me in. Especially since Star Wars has been kind of boring me after death. It's nice to find a decent science fiction franchise. Assault Intercessors... There he is, and everything he comes with. I don't think there's a bio or anything like that on the box, so moving on. Here we have Krajak, Krajax, Krajax. We'll just call him a salamander. <laughs> a sergeant of the Salamander Space Marines. Now, of all the Space Marine chapters, the Ultramarines, the Blood Angels, the Dark Angels, Black Templars. The Salamanders were the ones that stood out to me the most. And, uh, and yeah, I've started getting into the miniatures. I'm working on a Tyranid army right now, but the Salamander Space Marines are next on my list. I'm just waiting to get a few more units for them. And, uh, yeah, so here he is in his full green armored glory. Get up close there. Take a look at that helmet. If you notice the, uh, paint on the eyes is a little off that's because i uh he originally had yellow eyes then i decided to paint them red then after looking over some of the artwork and seeing that the majority of them were yellow eyed i decided to change it back to yellow but i didn't want to use like rubbing alcohol or anything so i just painted over the red but you know it doesn't look too bad so for that one little smudge there but we're gonna ignore that the skull on his helmet, I believe, is meant to represent... Oh, the skull on the helmet and the double tubes on the side of the helmet are meant to represent a higher rank, I believe. He has the Imperia, Imperial Inquilla on his chest. The symbol of loyalty unbroken. I don't know what that symbol means, but on this shoulder we have the Salamander logo. The dragon head. As you can see, he's a very well done figure. If you're familiar with Warhammer 40,000, then you should know that this is more or less one to one. I believe the specific layout of this armor is the Mach 10 Primaris armor. I could be wrong about that, though. He is quite poseable to head. He's on a ball joint. You can't really look up or up that much, but you can look down a little bit. You can go all the way around. You might have seen me earlier fiddling with the power pack for his armor. These little air heat vents can move up and down. Shoulders. I believe they can do a full 360. Okay, they can. They can go the shoulder pads can move slightly to accommodate the arm movement a little bit, but not by much. There is bicep rotation. 90 degree elbow bend. And there is, and the wrist is connected via ball joint, so you can rotate that as well. He has an ab crunch, waist rotation, legs, and kick up that high and get back about that far. Got a almost a full bend at the knee. And the feet, they can go left and right. Of oop. Pop off, apparently. Go up and down a little bit, and there is a toe bend. So yeah, this Angel of the Emperor is quite poseable. Now, he doesn't transform or anything, because, you know, he's not a transformer, but... He's still an interesting figure, to say the least. Uh, I don't really don't have anything that would compare with him size-wise too well, but... You know, I'll just yank something off my shelf and use it. Give me an idea how big he is. Um, 
Here he is next to the Jurassic uh, World Hammond Collection Dilophosaurus, just to give you an idea of how big he is. Oh, you know, to give you a better idea of how big he is. Here he is next to the Mega Bloks Kratos. And it's essentially the same size. It's roughly a little bit bigger than your average, like, Lego minifigure. So that gives you an idea of how big he is. Okay. Where were we? Now, no, sp no Space Marine is complete. Without a weapon, though a space marine can certainly handle himself without them, we wouldn't allow it. He comes with a variety of accessories, including his weapons. I'll start with his weapons. The flamer pistol. The salamanders are known for favoring fire-based weapons, so a flamer pistol makes sense. I love this little, this neat little weapon. He has a thunder hammer. And a nice gun metal in gold color. Very nice weapon. He has an empty holster to simulate the idea that that is the flamer pistol in there. So if you have him holding it, you can swap it with the empty holster, make it look like you pulled it out. He comes with a variety of alternate hands. He has this open hand. He has these weapon holding hands. A hand with a trigger, another hand with a trigger, another open hand. And he comes with an alternate head without the helmet on. And it's super easy to put on. Just pop it off a ball joint and just pop the new one on. I'm not going to do it, though, because I like the helmet. Well, you know, I'll do it anyway one time just to show how it works. Super easy, just... They say super easy, and now it wants to fight me. It's a little easier if you take the power pack off. There we go, just pop that off. Pop a new one on, and there we go. There we have Krajax. I don't know if he that I don't know if that's just a random name given to the character or if he is a significant character in Warhammer. Either way, he looks cool. And in case you're wondering, the reason why his skin is kind of a charcoal gray like that is because in the lore, the conditions of the planet they live on causes human skin to change into that charcoal black and their eyes to turn red. There we go. But yeah, I favor the helmet, so I'm going to leave the helmet on. And the hands, they swap the same way. I'm going to go ahead and put on different hands so I can have him holding his weapons. No, the other hands he comes with, the ones he already had on, were the closed fists. But for this, but for his weapons, we're going to need one of the partially open hands. And there we go. And... One of the hands with the trigger. Or the trigger finger open. And we're also going to go ahead and swap this uh, pistol holster. It's a lot easier to do if you just remove this little panel on the side. It's also connected via ball joint. And it's probably for the best because this, because this thing is on there very tightly. Like once I get it swapped, I'm probably not going to swap it again for a while because... It does not like to come off. It is going to fight me every step of the way. Come on, come off there. I'd rather not break it. Please don't break it. Just pop it off. There we go. Then we can pop the empty one on. Very simple, just squeeze that ball joint in that hole. I think the reason it's so tight is because that hole is too small. Maybe if I try widening it with some little tool or something. There we go. And we just pop that back on his hip. Like so. And now we can give him his weapons. Slip the gun handle in there. Slip the trigger finger in that little slit there. 
and now he's holding this flamer pistol and the thunder hammer we just slip that into his hand a little tricky to do it's when the camera's on everything wants to fight me okay maybe if i move it off the camera i'll have a better time with it pop the whole ass hand off but I got it on there here we have him holding his thunder hammer let's put his power pack on his armor looks very incomplete without it and it connects those two pegs and those two holes right there super easy now here we have K-Drax all weaponed up and ready to lead a squad of assault intercessors in the battle. And he looks super epic with those weapons in hand. Let's go ahead and move the camera back. We're going to finish this up. I lost that damn thing measure again. Yeah, I'm not editing it out. You're going to sit there and wait because I know where it is. I'll be right back. I'm getting it. I have it. All right, now, as he stands, he is approximately four and a half inches, roughly. And at time release, he's going for... 30 40 dollars because he is a pretty good quality figure like nothing feels cheap like this bit here on his hip likes to pop off easily but i think that might be intentional and uh yeah 30 40 dollars uh he's well worth it he's a good quality figure very poseable and as you can see he comes with quite a few display options so i'm not gonna argue about that and uh yeah recently getting in the warhammer salamanders made a pretty big impression on me because you know they're they are the friendly marines like in the grim darkness of the far future of 40k they are like a small bit of light in that darkness like like they are part of the xenophobic imperium if you're not human they are going to kill you but if like if you're not human and loyal to the emperor they're going to kill you but as long as you meet that criteria they will do anything and everything to protect you and i think that's awesome and he's not the only one I grabbed. I do have other Warhammer figures that we are going to take a look at. So this has been the Joy Toy Warhammer 40K Sergeant Krajax. If you enjoyed this review, hit that like button, leave a nice comment, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye.